One month from today, millions of people across North America will be treated to a total, total, I don't know what it is about that word. Just can't I get it? I cannot get it out. A complete solar eclipse. We're going to have to work on something because we're going to be saying it a lot <laughs> here yeah. over the next month. <laughs> so, uh, Caitlin, you talked to NASA earlier today about this and what are they saying about yeah, it? Yeah, you guys, April 8th truly is going to be an incredible day across the country. More than 30 million Americans will be able to witness the path of totality just by walking out their door. The path of totality will stretch from Texas to Maine. This is where the moon will pass in front of the sun, completely blocking it. And you may remember we had a total eclipse back in 2000. 2017, but the upcoming eclipse oh is going God, to be so even lovely. better. The time of totality is going to be almost yeah, twice yeah. as long as it was in 2017, up to four and a half minutes in some locations across the U.S., creating the effect of nighttime in the middle of the day. What is incredible is that when the sun, when the moon is covering the sun, it will get significantly cooler. In addition to being darker, uh, you will feel a chill. Even if you're not in the path of totality, you'll get less solar irradiation. Uh, and you will feel cooler. Uh, you'll also be able to hear it because when that nighttime hits during totality, birds will start chirping, animals will come out. It is a feeling of dusk that happens right in the middle of the day. And so you will feel it temperature wise, you will hear it and you will see it. Being in the path of totality is a full sensory experience. The total eclipse is also occurring during a period when the sun is at its most active every 11 years. So during totality, you'll actually be able to see solar flares and streams of particles coming off of the corona, that little sliver of light from the sun behind the moon. Now, if you are in the path of totality, you can actually look at the sun for the few minutes where the sun is completely blocked by the moon. But before and after totality, you will need these safe viewing glasses. And if you're in the path of a partial eclipse, you need to be wearing these glasses the entire time. Now, if you aren't able to get any glasses, there are still ways to safely view the eclipse. Just check out our WUSA 9 app or WUSA9.com for more information. WUSA 9 Weather Watch Alert is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. I vaguely remember being in remember Detroit this? in 2017 and everybody was at the airport looking yeah. out the window trying to see the eclipse. Right. Now, yeah. now put it in perspective. I mean, in, in 2017, <laughs> it was like 81%, okay, for us. But this, this time it's going to be like 87, 88 percent. So it's going to be pretty decent here, just not as awesome. We're going to have to knock on wood, though, for the whole next month, making sure that the weather cooperates in order to yeah. see it, because right. cloud cover would obviously ruin the whole thing. <laughs>